Hello. Nice to see you guys Hello. in this interesting environment. Yeah. It's right. very beachy, right? Feels very South Beach. Yeah. I like it. Here we are. Pina Where else should we be, right? <laughs> Put on the SPF. Ready to go? I seem to remember there's a beach scene in The Longest Ride. There is. We're not in it, but no, there is a beach not. scene. There yeah. is <laughs> Were you just kind of blown away when you, you guys drove up here? Like, okay. This is what uh, no, we're used to palm this. trees and horses. <laughs> this, this I'm used to. Actually, whoa, there are a lot of palm trees yeah. on this farm. Very strange combination. I know we're like in the middle of nowhere. This is great. Um, and then you saw the bull, so you probably felt kind of at home. Like, okay, right. Oh yeah, yeah. Because oh, yeah. I have tons of bulls in my house, just laying around. When I have to, like, when I'm going to bed and I, in like the living room, I get on a bull to ride it to the bedroom. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I well, <laughs> well. You're like a neighbor of the year. Yeah, okay. exactly. Did you like feel a connection when you saw that bull at all, first from the movie? And uh, I haven't even seen the bull. Is there a bull yeah, out there? Yeah, it's a long there is. Oh. Uh, it's a scary. Connection. Well, I just hope they don't ask me to ride it. <laughs> That's the connection. So I bucked one. I'm like one and done. It's like I play a bull rider. Um, you know, not in real life. But seriously, I know you did some training and all that stuff. You had to. No, I really did it in real life. And he did ride I, I rode one in real life. Yeah. Okay. So where are the scars? No, no. Pretty uh, pretty good. Pretty yeah. good still. Yeah. yeah. Did you just wear like a helmet or something? I did wear a helmet. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it didn't look like, well, obviously it seems fake, but the one you looked up on YouTube. Like, oh, you yeah. Know, I. You know, that happens, right? Uh, yes. You obviously did the research, so you know, and mm -hmm. um, not the safest uh, profession. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Um, One of the great, uh, you know, the, the PBR, they actually, I believe they have some websites devoted to the greatest wrecks of the year every yeah. year, oh, yeah. right? Wow. And, and, yeah, and I actually looked through some of those when I was trying to come up with the kind of thing that happened to him, and I think the clip that shows on the film is the one I yeah. was thinking of when I wrote the novel. And not a lot of job security. <laughs> Package there. <laughs> not much. It is not much. Health insurance? No. You get some disability? Uh... No, that they, they, no, that's one of the, the real challenges of it. And I cover that more in the novel uh, because it does become an element. It, yeah. And it's what happens in the novel. It's what drives him to keep writing is his desire to save the ranch for his mom because mm -hmm. the medical bills hit a million dollars. The simple fact is they can't get health insurance because it's too dangerous and I think they're limited to $25,000 which doesn't go far if you get your skull crushed or something like that. No. Ugh. Probably not. But I wonder how Obamacare will affect all that. <laughs> Obamacare and more That's a great it is point. A, it is. I mean, is. They, they might be able to get health insurance everybody's now. Get, yeah. Everybody's getting it. Yeah, you're going to have a DVD with these like outtakes of, you know, actual, maybe some things that happened or... No, that would be I hope, so I hope my bull riding footage is in the outtakes. So there's a lot more bull riding. There's a lot more bull riding. They got yeah. Luke's riding school, so they have that in there. You have interviews yeah. with the riders, and there's a couple more. There's a, a, I know I did a nice piece with Alan Alda about it or something. Then you have a yeah. kind of a funny piece about me procrastinating as a writer. Then we got some other things. Are you a procrastinator? I am, believe it or yeah. not. I, I, you wouldn't think so with everything I have going on, but yeah, I procrastinate. I'm a writer. <laughs> that they go hand in hand. I have, I have it down to the science myself. Um, but I won't progress. I'll, I'll write the story right away. Yeah. Like tonight. Thanks. No, you were from North Carolina. I was reading. So that's kind of interesting, huh? You were like, got to be home. So yeah. Right? It was really nice. Well, you know, there are benefits to being back home because I have a huge family and they wanted to come up and visit. It was summertime. Oh, they were using my yeah. place to go to the beach. It was kind of like a vacation for them. And challenging for me to uh, balance both, but uh, I love being in North Carolina or South Carolina during the summertime. It's like my favorite time of year. I love the humidity and the heat, so it was nice. You'll, you'll do very well here. Thanks. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was great to also like that your first date, I thought that was really cool. Like you kind of like came out, it was getting a little bit cold, you brought the barbecue. It was very, had a very like Southern feel to it, I thought. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. The, Amy's um, barbecue. Yeah. yeah you, you can say Amy for the barbecue. Yeah. And, um, I just thought those were really, like, the whole, just the dialogue was cool. Like, if they're now polished, which I'm a fan of, but. 
That was an improv by the old Eastwood right here. Seriously? Yeah, and he cracked me <laughs> up. He cracked me up during that scene. I could not stop laughing over that. I just thought it was so you know, funny because I'm a, I'm a nail biter and he always tries to bring it up in any scene. And I'm like, you can't use that improv. But then he used the clear nail polish line and I was like, genius. You're genius. That's so funny because I thought you were going to say something like, you know, Midnight Sparkle or Midnight whatever, sparkle, you know, yeah. but it was like, clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I also thought was interesting was, was the art of just actual correspondence, because who has that anymore? You know, like, we're all texting and emailing, and mm. who sits down to write a letter and, like, put the stamp on it and send it? This guy. This guy does. I do, yeah, I still yeah. do. Yeah, uh, moments of, for people that I care about, they're big moments in life, whether it's a wedding, a birth, a death. Uh, uh, end of the year, a uh, thanks, uh, uh, and I get and I receive wonderful letters. Uh, probably the most meaningful gift I receive for my birthday every year is a letter from oh. Teresa. Right? Yeah. And uh, mm. she writes the most hand writes the most beautiful letters to me that you can ever imagine. Just things oh. you appreciate or, or, or what we've gone through. Just as a career, she's someone I've worked with for twenty years. Very very kind, and I've saved all of them. I haven't been able to read these for years. You want me to read them to you? April 10th, 1940.